What's up? Welcome to episode 5 of the Bronco Rebuild Series. Today we are going to be doing some body work on the fender here. I want to get that taken care of because I've never done body work before, but I figured now is a better time than ever to learn because I have this Bronco here and it's mine and not anybody else's. So now is a good time to learn. But I'm going to do the fender. I'm going to do right here. I'm going to take these out and put over that here and there. Also those two bottom ones, but um, yeah, it's just gonna be Bondo. I know a lot of people hate on Bondo, but I mean, it's body filler. It's not like I have holes, it's just, and it's not like it's eaten through all the way. It's just kind of there, so I can just flatten it out and make it smooth with the body and it'll be all right. But yeah, I'm gonna start doing that, so I'm gonna go get some mixed. And we'll I'm starting to clean this side up, but I'm just using a uh, drill so far to just uh, go around, hit it, clean some of the, as much as the little bit of rust I can, and then, out here, I'm gonna sand all that down before I start putting Bondo back on it. But yeah, it's starting to, it's a start. There's a lot more rust eating away than I thought there would be, but I can't get to some of it, so I'm just taking this air sprayer and cleaning it out. going with this the farther I see that this has already been bondoed before so that's something but we'll keep going it's all sanded down now but I'm going to put some of this Krylon rust protector on it to try to prevent that rust from keep eating away so I'm gonna spray that down and then put the bondo on here I'll probably end up doing the same thing for the other side over there but yeah, I'm going to spray inside and everything there to try to keep it, keep the rust contained and not keep So I got the paint on it, but I'm going to let that dry. And while it's drying, I'm going to get working on taking these out and getting these taken care of. Those bolts down there. So I got this side started here. I filled in the holes and I'm going to let that sit so the holes will get um, like built up better. And then I started... Back here, I took all the bolts out from here, so now I'm going to go get my grinder, and we're going to grind these down to make them even with the body. So, yeah, I'm going to get started on that now. Hopefully that won't take super long, and then throw a coat of Bondo over that as well. These holes a lot in the past two days. Um, I did this one, these two, those two, and the one up there. I've gotten them all nice and smooth, and even with the body, so got that done i haven't sand down anything over here yet because this one's going to be a little bit of a challenge but i'm going to start sanding i'm going to start sanding this side down get working on it and yeah go i got it there. sanded down it's about to put on the other coat but to sand i'm just using an electric sander not doing it by hand so if you do it by hand it'll put kind of points of pressure on it and um once you put points of pressure on it it'll make it kind of uneven so you want to use something long um, if you do do it by hand, I've seen people use like a 2x4 and they wrap it in sandpaper and then they sand it that way. But instead, I'm just using the electric sander because I can't really push down on a certain spot with it. So it's keeping it smooth all the way through. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put on the next, next coat on here. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to sand it down and then I will go for the next coat. I got that other layer sanded down. It doesn't look too good on camera. But it's nice and, nice and smooth starting to come along better getting these holes filled in they're nice and strong on both sides there so yeah i'm gonna put the next layer on and keep on moving. The last, or hopefully the last coat on here i might have to do another because i'm not happy with the way that's sitting in there it didn't fill in quite like i thought but i also went ahead and just threw another layer on there just to and sand it down again just to have like a safety layer not so much safety but just make sure it's nice and smooth don't want to have any bad spots for when it goes to paint but yeah i'm gonna have to go get some more bondo and everything but yeah it's looking looking all right all right so i got all of these done they're nice and smooth and i've almost got this one done it's gonna need more layers there because it's real it's really rough in some spots and it's not going to well but it's really rough right there and it's gonna need some more layers sand it down again yeah, I'm going to do that and finish that up in the next one and do some other things in the next one before it goes away for paint. So, yeah, 
See you, see you then.